Hello everybody, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a lava lamp like the one you see on screen in Blender 2.8. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. So go ahead and open up Blender, click on General, select everything and delete it. Now what you want to go and do is find an image of a lava lamp off the internet and just save it to your camera roll. Okay, now import the image into your Blender scene. You can make it whatever size you want. Go ahead and add in a circle, rotate that by 90 degrees, go into your top view and just scale it to the size of the base of this one. Okay, Now that you've done that, go ahead and go into edit mode by clicking tab, click F for a face, and that will make it a full circle, and extrude upwards until you get to this bit here. Now go ahead and go into your wireframe mode by holding down Z and clicking on wireframe. Now scale down until it gets about like this. Okay, now just continue modeling off your lava lamp. Okay, now that you've modeled the shape of your lava lamp, go back into solid view and you can delete the image. Rotate your lava lamp by 90 degrees and move it along the y-axis so it's in the middle. Go ahead and go to your uh, viewpoint shading material preview up here and then click on shading. On the right here click on material properties, add two new materials and then you want to select the place where the lava lamp is going to be and click assign. Now go to material 1 and make it a metallic silver kind of material and then click shade smooth okay now let's separate the lava uh, the glass bit of the lava lamp by clicking selection now we can do our second material and this one go ahead and delete the principal shader let's add in a transparent the emission mix shader glass mix shader tran another transparent one and then finally one more mix shader All right, go ahead and put your uh, plug everything into your mix shaders like I'm doing here Okay, now put both of those shaders into the mix shader here. Now you want to plug that into your material output. And go ahead and go into your rendered mode. Now we want to make it a blue color. So edit the blue up here and the emission to a blue one. Now just play around with this texture until you've got something that looks good. Go ahead and change it to Cycles Rendering Engine so you can see what it would look like. This is my layout like this, um, but you guys can do it how you think it's going to look. Okay, uh, now go out of Rendered Mode into just Material Preview and hide your glass bit. Now click on the metal bits and we want to add a face on the bottom and a face on the top. Uh, so just click F for face. Okay, now you want to go add Metaball, shrinking this down. Now what Metaballs do is they like um, connect to each other like you can see here and it looks like what an effect in a, of a lava lamp would be. So now you can just play around with these until you've got something that looks good. Okay, I'm going to settle with this. Uh, now let's give them a texture. So select them, new texture, and I'm just going to make my ones orange. And the emission to orange as well. Now go ahead and add back your glass, go into rendered, and you can set up your scene how you like. Now that you've got your scene set up, go ahead, add in a camera, and start positioning that camera. I position the camera, we can now begin to render. Make sure your rendering engine is set to cycles and go ahead and click F12.
Okay, so this is our final render. Um, one thing I did notice while rendering is the meta ball was popping out. Um, do fix that if you're going to try this. Um, but thanks for watching the video. If you made it to the end, comment 29 and I will give your comment a heart. Um, and as always, I've been Kaleidoscope and peace.